Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia from Chicago. Welcome to my channel, Twin Flame Ring Connection. Have you sometimes had people say to you, you're such an angel? And maybe you kind of wonder to yourself and you say, am I? Am I not? What are they talking about? I'm just being me. What does that really mean? A lot of cultures and even religions have angels that they talk about. They have names for the angels. They have a hierarchy of the angels. They have not every culture, but a lot. In China, they have angels. In the uh, Middle East, they have angels. All through Europe, they have angels. And a lot of cultures have different beings that they believe have helped them in their earthly life. But what about us? As twin flames, we have an angelic heritage. It's sometimes hard to kind of match this up with like what you read, what you're told, what you might believe with actually a real experience of it or of other people. So what are we talking about here? Well, twin flames are a type of angelic and there's names for the types we are. So I am doing a class and in it we are going to learn. So the waves of people that get awakened, there's waves and these waves come from dimensions. Okay, it's like kind of swooping people down from and you're not people at that level, but you're a light being swooping down during a retrograde to capture more of your essence. Sometimes we feel this as a download. A lot of people don't know what to do with their downloads, but you're still receiving it. But who are you at that level? Well, the main ones through these waves, a lot of the first wave was actually the Orphim. Over the past several years, it's been the Seraphim, the Seraphim and the Ophanim, and we have people that are Cherubim. Okay, there's angelics that are kind of forgotten in history. Why? Because the same thing that happens in like new countries, there's mingling and melding and it just, we've lost that particular flavor, but the attributes of it is still there. Okay, so in this, we're going to learn about characteristics. Okay. One of my gifts is that I can look at a person's face and discern what type of angelic they are. Now, this confuses people because people will say, is my twin flame a different type of angelic? And the short answer is no. <laughs> you're the same soul. You're the same angelic. But here's where you get into questions like monadic twin, okay? Because is one of these higher than the other? Is it? Should it be? Maybe not. Okay. And so you see why some people could put their twin flame or who they perceive their twin flame to be on a little bit of a pedestal. But you don't have to. I'm saying come and join and learn and feel and really discern who you are. Learn about the good characteristics and gifts that are the attributes of the types of angelics. You may also have a comparable gift which lets you know about children you work with or people you work with. And it may answer some questions for you as to why is that person so stubborn? Well, <laughs> I can tell you right now, Ophanum can be very steadfast, but they can be stubborn. That's one of their characteristics. It's a good thing. They're not easily manipulated, you know, and so we're going to talk about that stuff because there's a lot of good stuff we're bringing in here and we need good stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, we need the good stuff. We have to get moving into the good stuff. Get away from the crazy of the mind because you're not crazy. You're going to find out that things that have happened have a reason, even if it's not a good reason. But you can get away from that and bring your true characteristics out, your true gifts your skills, and the color rays. What are the color rays? What do they have to do with this? What is the significance? And 
who are you? Okay. There are um, what I would call maybe an objective or an overall task. For example, if this group from the first wave of them come in on a color ray, what is the overall objective being accomplished? This can answer a lot for people, like what kind of jobs to seek, what kind of jobs are suitable for who you are, who is your essence, who are you at, both as an individual and as a unified being, because you're still in your unification process, even if you're in separation. You're not really separated at these levels. You're not torn asunder like it's implied. It's a different kind of process. So what are your color rays? Okay, why? Why there is conflict amongst angelics? Yeah, this started long ago and far away. I'll tell you who remembers more of this. Men, males, angelic males remember it more. Why? Because it's sort of embedded in parts of their masculine essence organs. And it's a little hard to get rid of. This is why you have to love them into forgetting and hence forgiving. If you have a regret, that's immediate forgiveness because we may, you know, when we're having this awakening, realize things or realize just certain things that we wouldn't want to happen again, right? But we're here to do it not only differently, but to be new. Be new. So why is there conflict amongst types of angelics? We're also going to learn how to breathe, how to open the ninth dimensional channel marma point. Now, let me tell you what the ninth dimension is, okay? In many ways, it's a living dimension, meaning, meaning it is for living, it's not for necessarily creating, but it is for supporting creations. One of the levels it has supported is the creation of life. But if you think about how is the life being born here, how is it uh, been affected by karma? Are there birth defects? Are there anomalies, cellular anomalies? How would you not want that moving forward into the next generations? Well, we need to open up our new connections to the level that supports it. Now, these are things that most people don't think about because they're like, you know, I'm curious and I want to know how we fit together. This is how you fit together. This is, these are things that you open so that you can create your life. You can create where you want to live, how you want to live, what is your livelihood, et cetera, et cetera. It has to start from somewhere. Gifts that are angelic. Don't think for one minute that we have never learned through trial and error because from our inception, it has been the only way to learn. OK, by now there's a huge repository of experiences and it's called the Akashic Records. In your angelic mode, you can access this or if you're trained to. And I am trained to do this to help people access what are your gifts? Where did you hone your skills? Where are you from? What color ray? What type? All these things that will gel this together and make sense for you. This is a part of being a multidimensional being. It is a part of my ability as a multidimensional healer and teacher because I can access these levels. What if something went wrong? What if you were really a part of Star Wars? George Lucas just didn't dream that up. His muse, which is his real twin flame, and he may die without meeting that person in this life and roll around for another life. A lot of people may come back for your last incarnation here and ridding yourself of karma. I'm telling you, you don't have to. And many times attending something like this can help you cut to the chase because you're like having those light bulb moments, those experiences that really let you know and help you leapfrog right over because everyone else is milling about here, boom, leapfrog over. And of course, 5D love equals angelic way of being with each other 
and creating the third energy, actually creating love because you are intended to be a living vessel to, you know, vibe it out here. You're, you're going up into it, not bringing it down. So would you like to join us? I may have like, instead of answering your questions, I may have posed some questions. What are your questions for me? Reach out. But you can join us. We are starting September 8th. So right when the kids go back to school, time for you to go to school and learn and grow and expand your light body because we, we do that. We do activations for these parts of you. A lot of people find this very interesting. And so if you're into astrology, if you're into past lives, if you're into, you know, what are, what are your origins? If you're into what are your gifts and attributes, join us because that's what we cover as well as the kissing part. I always love to talk about that because so many people, you just, you're believing that this love is in here for you, okay? Just because you've been hurt, believe me, you've been hurt again and again and again and again. You are a strong, resilient, light being who's here to be new. And I'm here to teach you and help you remember what your body knows, that you're here for love. So join us, 8th, 15th, 24th, those are Sundays, Sunday, 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 live on Zoom. I hope you can join us. Let us know, let me know, or have a session. If you're struggling on your twin flame journey, your ascension, just talk to us, okay? Check out my new website, twinflamereconnection.com, and have a good day, bye.